Anjali Kapoor from Oversight Global here. Now, welcome to today's audio series discussion on the controversial topic of performance management. Now, in recent years, the traditional approach to performance management has come under some scrutiny and many experts are now advocating for a more continuous feedback loop that focuses on skill development and team performance. Now, as someone who has had a firsthand experience with this topic, I can attest to the fact that the traditional approach is no longer effective in today's workplace. Now, in my last and most recent workplace manager position, I became the manager of a large clinic that had been without a manager for several months. Now, one of my first tasks right out of the gate was to conduct annual performance reviews for my new staff who were absolutely brand new to me. Now, I have conducted annual performance reviews in the past numerous times, but in this situation, I quickly realized that this approach, which was the traditional approach to performance reviews, was no longer sufficient and I can now understand why many are opting for a more contemporary approach. Now, I particularly like this new approach and I feel it highlights some key factors to how management and leadership have evolved and what the primary focus of it should be currently. It hits on three important effective management and leadership factors, including building and maintaining relationships, developing talent through coaching and mentoring, and the concept of being a team. The new approach places emphasis on building and maintaining relationships with your team. Now, to be successful in doing this, a manager must be vulnerable, transparent, and authentic with their team, allowing their team to get to really know them. In turn, a manager must be empathetic, compassionate, and truly desire to get to know their staff members, which has so many benefits to your workplace environment, your employee health, your their well-being, and their development, which increases productivity as well as revenue. No longer should performance management involve transactional exchanges. It should Focus on developing talent through coaching and mentoring. The saying, the employees are a company's greatest asset, shouldn't just be a cliche or something that's just thrown around for show. Company leadership and managers should make the time and effort to truly invest in their staff, recognize them for their efforts, and appreciate them for their work, their dedication, and their loyalty. Of course, this takes time as well as patience, but it's an investment that will pay off so much in the long run. Also, the concept and idea of team also comes into play in this new approach of performance management, where collaboration, innovation, shared vision, and goals are paramount. So ultimately, the new approach to performance management aims to be more of a continuous feedback, development, and celebration loop rather than an annual one-time transaction. It emphasizes the development of your staff skills and the performance of your team as a whole, rather than just individual performance and personal goals. Now, if we can adapt to this approach, we can create a more conducive work environment that fosters growth and productivity. So tell me, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this controversial topic? I'd love to hear them. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And with that, thank you so much for listening. Remember, leadership is a journey, not a destination. Keep striving to unleash your inner phenomenal leader and take care.